Most neighbors respect each other's property. Trespassing in someone else's yard is considered impolite. But one neighbor in Osceola, Florida, took this to a whole new level. An older man returned home to find a wall blocking his driveway because his new neighbor planned a new driveway. Find out how this 79-year-old man reacted and how he reclaimed his driveway. The new neighbor of Oliver bought an empty plot. He planned to build a new house from scratch. This caused quite a stir in the neighborhood. Building a house takes at least seven months on average, but the project can also last for years. However, Oliver never complained about the noise or disruption. He understood that it was necessary due to the nature of the work. After all, he was a mild-mannered person and the works did not concern him until they blocked his driveway. Everything started when Oliver came home from work. He was greeted by a row of slag blocks along his driveway. The line took up half the driveway, so he couldn't even drive through with his car. Oliver thought it was a simple misunderstanding. Since the neighbor was on the construction site, he decided to go and talk to him directly. He said he was building a new driveway. In other words, it was now his driveway, not Oliver's. Oliver didn't think his neighbor had the right to do this. The neighbor claimed it was his property, but Oliver knew he was wrong. The blocks were put up without warning. During an interview, Oliver said, I hate being bullied. Although Oliver was a kind and patient old man, he wasn't going to give in. I still have some of that fighting spirit in me, and I hate it when people try to take advantage of me, he told the Dayton Daily News. He needed to find evidence that he owned the driveway. Otherwise, the neighbor could do whatever he wanted. Oliver started digging through his old documents. Finally, he found documents detailing the land he had purchased. He had the right to two 36-foot driveways. According to the law, the neighbor had no right to violate half of Oliver's driveway. After finding evidence that the driveway belonged to him, he showed the documents to the neighbor. They had several conversations, but the neighbor did not change his position. He still wanted to use Oliver's driveway. The elderly man was surprised. He could not move the blocks himself, and his neighbor did not want to comply. Having no other choice, Oliver made his story public. He shared his struggles with Channel 9 News. The story spread from Florida to the rest of the United States. Journalists were very interested in Oliver's dispute with his neighbor. The story did not paint Oliver's neighbor as a law-abiding person. He said he was a pastor or something, Oliver said during an interview, a godly man. But I don't think his behavior was very Christian. While everyone agreed that the neighbor was at fault, the whole neighborhood also got bad press. Why didn't anyone help Oliver move the blocks? Why didn't they intervene? Despite all the bad press, Oliver's neighbor stuck to his guns. Since the house was still under construction, he wasn't there very often. Since Oliver had no way of contacting his neighbor, no phone number or address, he turned to the media again. This time, he contacted WFTV and told them that his neighbor still had not changed his mind. Ryan Hughes, a WFTV reporter, tried to contact him. However, he was unable to locate him. Naturally, it seemed that the man was hiding from the media. Trying to resolve the dispute, Oliver took his deed of ownership and contacted Osceola County. He proved that he had the right to two 36-foot driveways. However, the county decided that this was not enough. A spokesperson for Osceola County advised him to file a complaint against his neighbor. However, Oliver didn't want to engage in a complicated matter. He just wanted to reclaim what belonged to him. Not only Oliver had problems with this neighbor, the rest of the neighborhood also began to despise him. The man in question hadn't moved in yet, but he had already managed to bring bad press to the town. While some residents of Osceola blamed Oliver for the media attention, others came to his aid. Many began to support his cause. They couldn't believe that someone would continually stress a 79-year-old man and all for a driveway. Oliver felt he had no other choice. Contact with the neighbor was impossible and the blocks were still on his driveway. If things continue this way, he will have to file a complaint, something he really didn't want to do.